the nail gel, you want to prep your nails and the nail extension tips. So start off by choosing the right nail tip for each finger. If it's a little bit big, you can also file down the sides of the nail tip with a nail file to help it have a better fit. I like to prep my natural nails by removing any cuticles with some cuticle clippers. Then using a white sanding block, lightly buff over the nails to remove the natural shine. Then give them a good clean with some alcohol. Applying the nail tips, you want to get your nail glue and you want to apply it to the bottom area of the nail tip. This is also known as the well area. Personally, I like to use brush on nail glue, but whatever you prefer would work just as good. You want to apply the tip at a slight angle and then press down firmly onto your natural nail. This can help prevent any air bubbles. I like to hold the nail tip on for about 10 to 20 seconds. Then when I let go, I definitely know that it's not going to fall off. Continue applying the nail tips to the rest of your nails. I find this gives the perfect pointed nail. For a smoother application of the nail gel, you want to blend the seam of the nail extension tip. So taking the white sanding block, just buff over the top of the nail just to help remove the seam. Now taking a little nail brush, I like to brush away any dust. Then give the nails a good clean with some alcohol. Applying the nail gel, I like to start off using a base coat. I find that this helps the gel last a lot longer. So I'm using Madame Glam Base Coat in Nail Gel. Start by 
applying one coat of the base gel to your nails, then place under the UV light for 30 seconds to cure. you want to go ahead and apply your gel builder. Now I'm using light pink builder gel by Madame Glam. I like to apply at least two or three coats of this to get a nice thickness of the nail. But it's all up to personal preference. If you don't like your nails so chunky then you probably only need to apply one or two coats of the builder gel. After applying each coat of the nail gel, place under the UV light and cure for 30 seconds. Apply a second coat of builder gel. Once you've finished building your desired thickness of your nails, you want to give it one final cure for 30 seconds. Then clean off the tacky layer with some alcohol. Once all the fingers are done, I like to work on the thumb separately so we can place this under the UV light another clean with alcohol just to make sure that all the tacky layer has been removed. Now it's time to buff and shape the nails. Now I like to use the nail file and file the sides of the nails to give it a nice clean crisp shape. sanding block I like to buff over the top of the nail to remove any ridges or bumps and lumps that may be there so we have a nice smooth consistency. <laughs> clean my nails one final time with some alcohol before applying my favourite nail varnish and then the nails are complete. This is my favourite way to do my nail extensions, I find it so easy and quick to do especially if you're in a rush but you want to have your nails done really badly. So to finish the look of these nails off I like to apply a manicured coloured nail varnish just to help give that natural look on the top of the nails. I really love how these nails turned out, they were just what I was looking for. So after I applied the manicure coloured nail varnish, I then decided I wanted to add a little bit of glitter, so I decided to put a glitter varnish on by Madame Glam. 
Once I put the glitter varnish on, it definitely added a lot more character to these nails. But I think either way looks amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I will see you lovelies very soon. Bye guys.